What's up, G Fuel fan? This is Fuel for Days coming at you with a new kind of video. I'm going to compare the metal shaker against all these other kind of shakers. You've got your Yetis that are the most popular for any kind of uh, drink that ever is known for keeping things cold. It's always usually the Yeti. These are like $40. See how well it compares to the Yeti? Also see how well it compares to this Hydro Flask. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put two of these things inside the Yeti versus the, the G Fuel Cup. But then I'm also gonna put the other four outside and see how well those do in the heat. It's 98 degrees outside right now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill up one get one of these G Fuel cups and use the weight and amount from this one to pour in the rest of them because I wanted to have the same amount of ice in each. And I'll, come, I'll go and, and uh, check them about every two hours and see how much they've melted and compare them to the other ones. It'd be kind of a cool test because I've seen people do reviews on them, but not actually how well they hold up against other ones that are known for being good. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna fill this one up with ice, your metal shaker. Fill it up with ice and then pour it into each one so it has the same amount of ice ice in each. Alright. Alright, let's do that for each one. Alright fam, so what we got now is we have ice in each one of these. And this is the one I filled up and put it in each one of these so it had the same amount of ice. So I'm gonna set a timer and see how long it takes these things to melt. But what I'm also gonna do is about every couple hours, I'm gonna go out and check them. I'm gonna dump the water out into a measuring cup to see how much water has actually melted. And then pour that water back into each vessel that it came out of. Just, I just wanna see exactly how much is melting and how long it's gonna take for each. So three, four of them are gonna go outside, two of them are gonna stay inside. All right, let's get this thing started. All right guys, so I'm out here outside. It's 98 degrees outside. So I am going to just be monitoring these and see how well they do. All right, we'll be back with you in a couple hours. If you look inside, the ice is still pretty good down there. Same with inside the Yeti for the inside ones. I tipped them to the side and there's hardly any water in either of them for three hours so far. So, so far, just ice. Looks like it's holding up and just stained water so far for the inside on both, about equal. Let's go outside and check out the other ones. All right, guys, we're three hours into our test here. We're gonna check out the Yeti, three hours. It's still, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour this in here and strain out the water. So three, th three hours in, just barely any water at the bottom. Let's put that back in. Now, it's, you can see this one, that one's all the way melted. So that one's out. <laughs> this one right here. Same thing, barely any water. So it's going about the same thing as a Yeti so far. Pour it back in there. Now let's try this one. It's pretty much looking like the same exact thing, same amount for this one right here. So it's barely melting at all. Still a lot of ice, decent amount. We'll come back in a couple, three, about three more hours and see what it's like. All right, fam, it's been eight hours now. Eight hours I've had the Yeti and the G Fuel on the inside with the same amount of ice. 
that I had before. I'm gonna pour out the water. See how much water is in this one. Just over a fourth of a cup for the Yeti of water that's been melted. Pull that back in there. Now let's do this. Now let's do the same thing for the G Fuel. Pretty big chunk of ice still for eight hours. All right. So for the G Fuel one, for the inside, it's at about one third cup water. All that ice is still left after eight hours. All right, fam. So it's been eight hours since I first started this experiment. It's dark now, but it's still 85 degrees. So with 85 degree weather for eight hours, the Yeti has produced 100 milliliters. 100 milliliters for the Yeti. All right, so now the one we really care about is this G Fuel. Let's see what this is. So the G Fuel has produced, wow, almost exactly the same. 100 milliliters of water. That's awesome. That's great, because this cup right here costs $40. This one's twenty dollars, and it also just looks so much better. Now the hydro flask. All right, so this is the hydro flask. That's actually doing better than the Yeti and the G Fuel. It's at one third cup, which is pretty good. All right, let's put it back in and we'll just let it keep going. All right, guys. So we're about 21 hours later. It is nice and hot outside. It's about 92 degrees. My wife came out here about two hours ago. So that'd be 19 hours ago, 19 hours from when I started. And there were small, two very small ice cubes inside the Yeti and there was two very small ice cubes inside the um, G Fuel uh, shaker. So I would say that the G Fuel shaker and the Yeti are on par with each other. But then 21 hours later, we still have a little bit of ice left inside the Hydro Flask. So the Hydro Flask with equal amount of ice, the Hydro Flask wins. However, I'm surprised. The G Fuel Shaker is actually the same as a Yeti. I didn't think it would be, but it is. Good job, G Fuel. All right, so we're 21 hours from when we started this experiment. I'm going to, this is the inside Yeti and G Fuel Shaker. Empty out the ice to see how much water it produced at 21 hours later. Just over the three quarter of a cup of ice or water. All right. You see how much ice is still left in that Yeti after 21 hours. All right, and now for the G Fill Shaker 21 hours later. For the inside. Just over three quarters of a cup. Just, just barely over. And this one was, and the Yeti was just barely over also. So they're about equal. So good job, uh, G Fuel. I thought the G Fuel was not gonna be as good as the Yeti. All right. All right, guys. So after 21 hours of ice, 16 ounces of ice being in each one of these, because we wanted 16 ounces so it was equal to what a G Fuel shaker is. So after 21 hours, the G Fuel shaker held up just as well as a Yeti, which is really surprising considering this thing is about $40. And also, I'd like to say that 
I have about five or six of these things. I'm gonna end up getting every single one of that these came out now. I didn't think they were gonna do so well, but since they are just as good as the Yeti, I'm just gonna get them all. And then for the Hydro Flask, the Hydro Flask is just barely better than all these. All right, so from now on, use your, your G Fuel Shaker with confidence. Know that it's going to hold up just as well as all your other brands. All right, we'll see you on the next video. Peace.